dog breed doesn't affect behavior, according to new genetic research. Oh, perfect timing. I want to cover science and dog training. Far too often, we have thrown the word science out as this new thing that validates whatever training that we are doing. Science-based dog training, science-based detection dogs, all of these things because science now has really gotten into the world of dogs. I'm one of those who definitely got into that, still into that. But what I want to share with you guys is sometimes we have to do what science does. We have to question, is this really useful information? Is it something that's just starting? It's the beginning of data collection in a scientific way about a certain dog training aspect or genetic aspect or what have you. We can't be too quick to jump on that science bandwagon because as many scientists will tell you, they just don't know yet. They are constantly evaluating various research projects, sometimes even challenging each other's data and saying, did you look at this? Did you account for that? Well, we also need to sometimes pump those brakes and not always be so into what is the new cool world of science and what does science say? And I'm a science-based trainer. We need to still use a lot of things based on experience. I fully embrace the use of science when we have vetted enough of it. The cool thing is, just when we think we figured it out, science or something else will show us, maybe we don't totally know it yet. So, I highly encourage you guys to look at things that come from the science world, but also have that critical eye, take it with a grain of salt and understand that sometimes certain things are clickbait and buzzwords. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. If you would like more information about anything Detection Dog, go visit www.fordcanine.com.